Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Just the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and welcome to, I guess, a different sort of video here on the channel than what I usually do, guys. So it's not a toy review, it's not toy photography, it's not even a podcast. I guess you can categorize it as a updated collection tour, uh, but I'm also going to be taking you guys through the deep cleaning process. So it is springtime, it is time for a good spring cleaning of the collection, which means we are going to take each and every single one of these figures off the shelf, clean the shelf, clean the figures, uh, rework some of the shelves and some of the spaces uh, so that way we can fit newer uh, stuff that I've gone throughout you know, the time since I've last reworked my collection. Um, you know, make some slight changes, maybe move some stuff around and whatnot. So at the end of everything, I will give you guys an updated look at the collection to show you guys how it turned out. But before that, I will give you guys a quick rundown of what my collection currently looks like. I do currently have a collection tour video up on my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check that out now. Uh, but since then, I have added some stuff, made some changes, uh, but not anything major really. So uh, at the end, like I said, I will give you guys an updated look. But before we do anything, I will give you guys a quick rundown so that way you guys can see how it looks now uh, versus, you know, how it's going to look after everything's done. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and jump right on into it and take a look at what it currently looks like before the deep clean. All right, guys. So starting from the bottom, we are here at my Power Rangers Lightning Collection shelf. Now, I hope you guys enjoy that because it will be disappearing very shortly so that I can help fund my Hot Toys addiction. Up above that, I do have my Jurassic Park slash Predator shelf, and up above that, I do have my Clone Trooper slash Mandalorian shelf, and as you can see, it is jam-packed, and it is going to get even more jam-packed uh, when you do see the update. Above that, I do have my Back to the Future collection, and then above that, I do have my Mandalorian figure collection. I do not have every single Mandalorian figure, but I do have quite a few. Next up, I do have above them my Jedi and Sith figures, and above them all, I have my NECA street scene diorama displaying my NECA turtles, both the 90s movies as well as the cartoon turtles, as well as some Playmates turtles, but there's only a few of those. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, my cartoon display is pretty full. Now, unfortunately, these are not the official NECA Mirage Turtles. These are the knockoffs from China. And right next to them, you do get the Playmates Turtles that I was talking about. In this corner, we do have all my Halo figures. And next to them, we do have some more Turtle stuff. Uh, I have so much Turtle stuff, it branched out over to the next shelf over. Uh, in the Super 7, the Super Shredder, Tokun Razar. And uh, Tokon Razar helped bridge us into our big boy shelf. As you can see, uh, this shelf is just full of McFarlane mega figures, larger Marvel Legends and Marvel Select figures. And yeah, this is just essentially my big boy shelf where all my heavy hitters are. Next to them, we do have my Joker display. As you can see, we have everything from The Dark Knight Returns to Heath Ledger's Joker. Next to that, we do have essentially a random assortment of figures up until you get to the corner, and it turns into a bit of a Marvel corner. But here we do have some Black Series centerpieces, the Kylo Ren and the Luke Skywalker one, and above him we do have a 1966 Batman display. And above him we do have a Luke Skywalker slash Mark Hamill display, and guarding the entrance to my bathroom I do have Gomez right there. Taking a look at this shelf, I do have my Diamond Select uh, Star Wars figures, my Duel of Faiths display, my Rumble Society display right there, my display to the only man that has ever won an argument with a woman, uh, my Mezco display right here on another NECA street scene diorama, and I actually do have some figures on the inside, mainly some uh, Diamond Select John Wick and some NECA Terminator figures, but on the outside, it is all uh, Mezco. I was going to say NECA, but Mezco. Except for the Flash, Cyborg, and Superman right there because I'm currently waiting for the Mezco, Superman, and Flash, and they've yet to announce a Cyborg, so he will stay there to complete the Zack Snyder Justice League until we get one from Mezco. Moving on to my Batman display, guys. This probably has to be uh, my most uh, heavily, heavily, uh, I guess, decorated or just... Most stuff I have in any display, as you can see, I absolutely love 
the Dark Knight, and uh, this new NECA mask from you know Ben Affleck's Batman is fantastic. Moving on to some more shelving, I do have Master Chief's helmet right there, as well as the Iron Spider helmet and some web shooters from Disneyland. I do have a World of Halo shelf right there and a random shelf essentially. This shelf is literally just randomness put together, uh, stuff that just didn't fit anywhere else. Some more World of Halo figures right there. And now my McFarlane shelf right here, which will be significantly downsized uh, since I will be looking to sell most of them in order to help fund my new Hot Toys addiction. But yeah, guys, I won't get rid of all these Batman, but I will get rid of uh, essentially most of them. But next to that, I do have my Beast Kingdom DAH collection right there, mainly of the Dark Knight figures. And then next to them, I do have my Black Series helmets all lined up on, not helmet racks, no, towel racks. Yes, mounted towel racks work just fine. Right there you see my army builder shelf all in disarray, my Darth Vader centerpiece, my Halo diorama, and on top of it all, some statues from essentially all Diamond Select except for that Master Chief. I do have a display dedicated to Hawaii, I absolutely love that place so I had to dedicate a spot to it. Here is my The Batman display right below my Batmobile display, then we have my Universal Monsters display, and we have the TMNT Turtles getting all mutated down below. Here we have a Jango Fett and Boba Fett shrine. And here we see a very dusty Darth Vader and Mando helmet. Uh, yes, I did clean them very well. Uh, and here we have Titan Joker, another mega figure which didn't quite fit on the shelf yet so he had to wait until I dismantled everything and cleaned everything uh, so I did decide to start on the second shelf of every shelving unit because my bottom shelves get so dirty so quickly because of all the dust and all the dog hair from my German Shepherd all close to the ground and everything uh, so I decided to do those last so they stay clean the, the longest in the sense uh, and so here I am starting off with my Jurassic Park slash predator section or shelf and after that, I did go ahead and do my Clone Trooper slash Mandalorian shelf. And as you can see, there are quite a number of figures here. And I did dust each and every single one of them and rearrange each and every single one of them also in order to fit more. Because as you will see in the finished product, uh, I actually was able to fit more figures in this shelf somehow. Uh, but as you can see, it took some trial and error. Some stuff was falling, some stuff was sticking. Uh, but in the end, we got them all to fit. Now, in terms of adding more clones to this collection, whew, that's going to be hard because as it is, they're pretty much already holding each other in place. So moving on to the next collection up above, it is my Back to the Future collection. This is the only collection that got skipped on my last deep cleaning because I just got lazy towards the end. So I made it a point to make sure I did this towards the beginning of this deep clean. Uh, not too much of it changed, I just rearranged a few certain figures, mainly the new Griff and Back to the Future Part 2 Marty, uh, so kind of like reincarnating, uh, you know, that scene where Griff's trying to hit him with the baseball bat while they're going over the water. Uh, so after that, I did go ahead and tackle my Mandalorian and Jedi and Sith shelf. Uh, it's all one giant shelf essentially, so I went ahead and took them all down and just cleaned everything and started from the ground up or bottom up and starting with all the army building shore troopers that I have as you can see there are about eight of them not about there are eight uh, plus seven death troopers and then all the other figures that you do see and essentially like for three or four mandos uh, man I'm tired of seeing mando come out in the black series I don't know about you guys but now moving on to my Jedi and Sith shelf and starting off with some Sith now I'm starting off with uh, some Jedi placement, moving people around, seeing exactly where exactly it is that I want to place them. Uh, and as you can see, that happened relatively quickly because now we are onto my TMNT display. So we are pulling each and every single one of them off. And unlike uh, the last shelf, we are going from the top down. It's just easier for me because I can have a little more space when trying to balance and position people on top than if I'm trying to do that after I've placed all those figures on the bottom. Now this section right here did take quite a bit. Not the big boy section. That did come together quite fast and easy. Uh, but this Halo corner, I went back and forth so many times. 
I'm going to get rid of all these figures. I'm going to keep them all. I'm going to get rid of them all. I'm only going to display a few. In the end, I figured if they can all fit in this corner, I will display them. And they did manage to all fit, so they are still up on display. But I am going to be looking at thinning out that collection as well. Uh, and once again, putting that money towards some more hot toys. Uh, but also moving on back to my big boy shelf, as you can see, just moving and rearranging. Uh, you know, these guys, they're beautiful and they're huge, but that's the thing. They're huge. So when you go to pose them, they just take up that much more space. But as you can see, here I am back in that corner trying to figure out the Halo figure situation uh, because I just really couldn't think or figure it out you know uh, but in the end like I said I was able to smash them all into that corner and so I still do have all of them although like I said they will be going bye bye very very soon I'm not even collecting that line anymore I'll probably just pick up the new Arbiter uh, because we do need an alien in that line so moving on to the Luke Skywalker centerpiece I was able to pick this thing up for about $12 on Amazon uh, wow I want to say probably five or six years ago at this point wow it's crazy to think how fast time goes uh and how much things change but yeah i've had this thing for quite some time back when uh these things were essentially being given away uh and now they're actually going for quite some money because they were given away and now everybody wants them so above that i do have my mcfarland retro 66 batman display here i am taking everything apart taking the cave out and deep cleaning that as well and then dusting the shelf unit itself now placing everything back and trying to work everything so that uh you know it actually fits a little better than how i had it prior uh so yeah there we have it and pretty much voila pretty much done right there so we're back to my mark hamill uh shelving unit because it does have that joker statue hand but uh thankfully i was able to keep it as my luke skywalker uh display for about three weeks and then i got some hot toys and they quickly took over the statue's location and well now it's kind of like a Luke Skywalker and Bane situation. However, you know, Mark Hamill did play the Joker in the animated series, or Batman the Animated Series, so having Bane on that shelf is somewhat of a connection. Nothing too much. It's a bit of a stretch, but nothing too crazy. As you can see, I did manage to fit that Joker hand statue up there, along with my Soap Studios Bank Robber Joker and my McFarlane Jokers as well. Uh, those are probably going to be the few McFarlane figures that I do decide to keep, especially that Dark Knight Returns one, because it is a custom uh, combining the two uh, McFarlane and Mattel ones, which I absolutely love. So this shelving unit right here is actually a media shelving unit. It's made for Blu-rays and CDs. However, my collection has grown so much that I essentially took those out and have now turned them into displays. Uh, so I have so much Batman stuff that I decided to take out my Duel of Fates display and go ahead and just dedicate a whole new section to some Batman stuff. My Rumble Society section did stay the same. Uh, however, I did take out that display to the only man to win an argument with a woman. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow and turned it into a uh, Star Wars battle droid uh, shelf I guess you can say so here we do have the hyper real Darth Vader uh, the elite death trooper and some diamond select Star Wars figures as well as some mini bus and now we are moving on to my Batman display guys and as you will see I am doing a really really deep clean uh, here I am moving my dresser. You can't even see me, but I am cleaning everything behind and finally putting everything back. Like I said, I had to rework a lot of stuff here so that, uh, you know, I can fit everything. And so uh, it took quite some time, but as you can see, I managed to fit everything uh, quite nicely so that you can see uh, exactly what you need to see in each piece of uh you know of this collection so yeah it took quite some time as you can see i'm going back and forth back and forth moving things all around and uh this is why it's such a cumbersome uh task to take on uh you know to clean and deep clean and rearrange your collection because uh not only do you move stuff around multiple times but as you just saw right there uh you find stuff and you tend to play with it so that tends to you know make time go a little faster and your time spent 
cleaning a little longer but uh, here I am displaying everything fixing everything the figures do get a little lost in this display because the helmet and the web shooters are so large uh, but it's okay so moving on to my world of halo display um, I'm thinking I am gonna actually be getting rid of these as well uh, I used them quite a bit at first but now I don't really see any use in them uh, above them I did go ahead and rework my random shelf so that way they were on some risers and you can see them on different levels but after that it was time to tackle my McFarlane section this thing was a bit of a hassle because there are so many figures and uh, they don't always want to stand so uh, yeah repositioning them was definitely a challenge but uh, like I said I will be downsizing this collection significantly very soon so that I can make way and uh, more capital for hot toys here I am cleaning my Beast Kingdom collection this is essentially somewhat of a bridge between hot toys and Mezco because they are official license you know to the movie and they are soft good figures and they are nine inch figures as well minus Superman he is hard plastic on his suit his cape is a soft good uh, but everything else on all, all the other figures oh and minus armored Batman are soft goods uh, so here I am cleaning all my black series helmets and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the sequel trilogy but as you saw I have a clone trooper helmet I have a stormtrooper helmet and I figured let's see the evolution of it all you know and you know that's why I went ahead and bought a first order stormtrooper helmet so that way you can essentially see the evolution and here I am cleaning Boa Fett's helmet cleaning the death watch helmet and uh, finally placing the first order helmet back these are those statues that I told you that uh, essentially are no longer in this position because there are five hot toys or I should say uh, hot toy and four sideshow pieces in their place now and uh yeah they're gonna stay there so most of those statues are in different places now we're not most of them but they all are uh, but here i am working on my halo display underneath that with my 1000 toys halo combat evolved and halo infinite figures and my 2005 mcfarlane brute uh, this was a figure i acquired a long time ago so it's not like i picked it up recently but underneath that i do have my darth vader centerpiece now this one i believe was probably the most expensive one that i got at 15 dollars guys a whole 15 dollars from 50 dollars you know uh but i also do display my army building uh stormtroopers here as you can see they're all you know going through the doorway with vader and fighting side by side with him so next up we are going to be doing my uh, Maui display or Hawaii display and like I said guys I love that place so much that I went ahead and essentially dedicated a whole spot that I could have dedicated to any number of franchises and figures uh, to just Hawaii because it's just that fucking fantastic so moving on to this corner as you can see I moved everything out and cleaned and now it's time to move everything back in and so as you can see we started off with the Django Fett slash Boba Fett shrine and then we moved on to the TMNT turtles underneath getting mutated then we went ahead and moved over to our universal monster shelf and then finally are the Batman and Batmobile shelves we will go ahead and take a closer look at all these shelves remember guys after I show you guys this time-lapse uh, video of me cleaning everything I just want to show you guys all the hard work that it goes into, you know, keeping this collection in tip top shape. Now, I'm not saying I do this quite often. I should do it a lot more often than I should do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys all the work that goes into it uh, because uh, it's a, it's a labor of love. I'll be honest. It's it's a labor of love. So here I am finally getting to my bottom shelves, starting off with my army builder shelf. Now, I do call this my army builder shelf because uh, it's made up of a bunch of figures that are essentially army builders but don't really fit into any other display in my collection like these Cobra Troopers these are the only GI Joe classified figures that I do have well besides Scarlet uh, but these guys will be going away very soon because I had initially bought them to be basic military soldiers and then essentially two to three weeks after that I got some black skulls so yeah I really haven't used them and I don't think I am in toy photography so it's time to let them go here I am cleaning the centerpiece Kylo Ren uh, statue slash also first order figures I probably will be putting this up for sale as well I don't know if I'm gonna piece it out or if I'm gonna just go ahead and sell it all as a package with all the first order troopers and the statue so here I am finally getting to my Power Rangers uh, shelf 
and like I said guys these are gonna be gone these are gonna be the first few figures that I do sell um, minus some of the monsters because they can be good crossover figures as well as minus the TMNT crossover Power Ranger figures because well they're Ninja Turtles as Power Rangers like why the fuck would I get rid of those uh, but the other ones they were just a nostalgia pull and it's okay it's time for them to go so that way I can make more room and capital for hot toys so here I am working on my last display my Mezco one I saved this one for last because well I had to take my time and uh, really work and uh, yeah I knew it was gonna be time consuming so I saved it for last but it's worth it in the end to make sure that these figures are secure so most of them were on flight stands already However, others were just pegged into the base, and so I went ahead and, and uh, put all of them on flight stands, or at least 95% of them on flight stands, so in case anything happens, uh, you know, they're pretty much secured. You know, I do live in California, so the chances of an earthquake are there, and uh, their security is very important to me. And that wraps up the cleaning process. Alright guys, we have officially finished deep cleaning the whole entire collection uh, I'll be honest with you guys it took me about three weeks to do and on top of that I got super busy so it was another three weeks or four weeks or so that I got around to doing the this latter portion of the video in terms of showing you guys the updated uh, you know collection tour and whatnot so I do apologize if you see a little bit of dust and hair uh, for my dog still on the stuff I did deep clean and I've tried to upkeep it in a sense with some canned air uh, but that only does so much that you know a deep cleaning can do so much better but now I have finally gotten around to doing the updated portion of my collection tour I hope you guys enjoy the updated collection tour because uh, it's gonna be changing once again very soon uh, I've decided to jump into another rabbit hole and that means getting out of a few other ones uh, which means I will be selling portions of my collection very soon uh, in order to dive into this other hole and fun and pay for it uh, so yeah guys with that being said let's go ahead and jump on into this new uh, collection tour all right guys so once again starting from the bottom shelf here we have the Power Ranger lightning collection all cleaned up and uh, a little more stationed and uh, standing uh, moving on to our predator slash Jurassic Park shelf guys not too different just a little bit but a lot cleaner here you will see we were able to fit in so many more figures and in a bit of a different kind of a kind of a setup in a way you know we have some uh, different figures in flight stands uh, but now we are moving on to the back to the future shelf here we have Griff chasing Marty after that iconic scene nothing else has really changed in that shelf now here we have the Mando shelf all nice and cleaned a little more spread out since I went ahead and packed in uh, most of my army building troopers in that corner here we have a little more Jedi and Sith to fill out the shelf since I did destroy my uh, Duel of Fates display but Moving on to my Ninja Turtle display guys as you can see it is all nice and set up unfortunately inside Donatello and some foot ninjas did take a tumble and well I've been a little too lazy to fix them but moving on to the top shelf right here the cartoon turtles I was able to fit all my Ninja Turtles on this display including the Super 7 right there somehow I don't I really don't know how guys uh, but there are all my Halo figures back in that corner and then of course uh, well I guess a few of the Ninja Turtle figures kind of trickled over to uh, the shelf next to the, the display uh, and kind of helped transition us into the big boy area so here we have Titan Joker I was able to fit him in uh, obviously Violator, Steppenwolf, Hulk, Bane and uh, just a few other Banes you know so moving on we do have my Joker section as you can see I did fit that Joker statue up there along with all my other great Joker stuff especially that Diamond Select Heath Ledger Joker here we have my random shelf once again with a bunch of random stuff Jack Sparrow went ahead and joined them uh, here we have some Marvel stuff with a little bit of Batman right there and James Bond as you can see uh, but after this we do move on to uh, my shelf with my uh, Black Series centerpiece Kylo Ren and the First Order Troopers and of course my Black Series centerpiece Luke Skywalker with the Snow Troopers. Right above them I do have my 66 Retro McFarlane 
Batman display with the Batcave, the Batmobile, all the rogues, Batman and Robin. My Luke Skywalker display is once again just a Luke Skywalker display. And of course, my new Battle Droids display, my Mezco's display is the same, and my new Batman section right here. And we did clear out this section a bit as well, leaving some more space for some new Diamond Select Star Wars figures once they are released. Taking a look at my Mezco shelf, the only thing that really changed is the addition of this Batman and Two-Face right here. Um, and also the fact that all these figures, except for the Black Skulls and Nosferatu, are on flight stands. They are being wrapped around by the waist uh, just for safety measures, you know, just in case. Because I do live in California and uh, you never know when an earthquake can happen. And these things are not the cheapest figures. So I figured let's go ahead and just put them all on flight stands and be safer uh, rather than sorry so moving on to my Batman display I was able to rework it and move it around uh, so that everything was able to be displayed here is that new AMC popcorn Batman bucket uh, that's essentially like a life-size of the Batman cow which is really fucking cool uh, but as you can see I was able to fit that Ben Affleck Batman mask in there and if you can't tell, I kind of don't like the Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> uh, moving on to my other shelving, here is my Spider-Man shelf, my World of Halo shelf, and my random shelf actually did get a little more organized. I added some risers so that way you can see some stuff in the back while, uh, you know, all this craziness and chaos is going on in the front. I did recently get this new McFarlane Batman statue, so I went ahead and put him right next to my Spider-Man statue. But that moves us on into my McFarlane shelf area. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, this is going to get significantly smaller as uh, I will be selling off the majority of my McFarlane collection. There will only be maybe, I think I'm going to limit myself to 10, 10 figures that I keep from this line. And uh, that's going to be it going forward. So uh, we'll see which 10 uh, they actually are. So right here we have my Beast Kingdom collection. Once again, the bridge between my love for Mezco and Hot Toys. Here we have the helmets all lined up. Once again, same order, just nice and cleaned. Here we have my statue section, which is actually now my Hot Toys and Sideshow section. But here we have my Halo section, which will quickly become something else very soon. Um, but here we have my Darth Vader centerpiece with my Stormtrooper army all backing him up. And last but not least, my army builder shelf, which will be shrinking as well. Here's my tribute to Maui. And moving on to my collection of Batmobiles. They're all nicely clean, nicely done, and they just look amazing. Moving on to my The Batman display. Uh, I did put quite some work into this, so I do go a bit slow to show you guys. You will see that there are two Riddler figures there. That's because one is a henchman and one is actually the Riddler. Um, but yeah, moving on from that shelf, we do have the Universal Monster Shelf all nicely standing and everything uh, and clean as well. And underneath, we do have the Ninja Turtles getting mutated. Uh, so moving on to my Boa Fett slash Jango Fett Shrine, as you can see, I kind of like them just a little bit. And here is my new Sideshow 1-6 Mythos Boba Fett and right behind him my Hot Toys Mando Death Watch super cool super awesome crazy to think that that collection has already grown significantly and uh, talking about that growing significantly here is another hot toy that I did manage to pick up alongside that Mythos Boba Fett for an amazing deal the Hot Toys Deluxe Mando guys so that was the updated collection tour i hope you guys did enjoy it like i said it will be changing very soon so that way i can get rid of a few pieces so that way i can buy a few new pieces uh mainly those ones that i showed and teased uh in this video that i will be unveiling on this week's coffee and toys podcast episode 39 so stay tuned and definitely check out this week's episode and also check out previous episodes if you haven't already check out coffee and toys live every wednesday on instagram at cool figures follow me over on instagram at cool figures and epic shots by cool figures where i post my more thought out plan out more edited pics as well as following me and subscribing here on youtube with that being said guys i've been your host just the bat madrigal aka the buff collector